covers most of the earth and comprises about 60% of our bodies. It is essential to life and in Florida, it is our playground, our economy and our way of life. It presents one of our most difficult challenges. For thousands of years, the water in Florida flowed south as rain filled dozens of lakes near present-day Orlando. That flowed into the Kissimmee River and into Lake Okeechobee. Before resuming its southerly course, overflowing the lake and continuing south through America's Everglades. Eventually, it flows into Florida Bay. But decades of development and agriculture have changed the face of Florida. A complex network of dikes, canals, and channels changed the course of its waterways. With it came impurities in the water, nitrogen and phosphorus from fertilizers, and from human and animal waste, give rise to microscopic plants called algae. They cloud out life-giving seagrass, and that can be toxic to fish, wildlife, pets, and even humans. As Florida's population grew, the flow of water was altered. A dike built south of Lake Okeechobee and the Tamiami Trail to the west slowed the southerly flow of water to a trickle. Today, two-thirds of that water that once flowed into Florida Bay is now diverted and much of it wasted when it is flushed east and west into our central estuaries. With this water came the nutrients, the phosphorus and nitrogen that feed toxic blue-green algae and red tide. To the south, America's Everglades is parched, with drought conditions causing frequent wildfires in what was once a river of grass. Instead of wasting precious fresh water, Everglades restoration will store it in reservoirs south of the lake. It then will purify it through 60,000 acres of man-made wetlands so it can safely nurture the Everglades and restore fresh water balance to Florida Bay. It is the largest environmental restoration project in history. Now more than 21 years in the making, it promises to restore America's Everglades and Florida Bay and reduce the algae-causing discharges into our Caloosahatchee and St. Lucie estuaries. Everglades restoration is essential to Florida and its future. <laughs>